Hey folks, it's Fritgar here. How you doing? Welcome to the live stream. I got a whole lot of stuff planned for today's live stream. Um, I was going to be using the Place Anywhere mod, but in the end I decided against it because it kind of goes against a little bit of what I want to do. I was looking at the Place Anywhere mod. It does make all the landscaping stuff a whole lot cheaper. So I've left that one for a minute. The first thing that we are going to do is we're going to jump into here. There are links in the description where there should be for all of the mods that I'm using today. I've already put them in. First up on the list, we have got a new truck over here. Now this one is actually exactly the same as this one over here, except that it has some customization options. Before I really get into it though, let me just say hello to Jamie Burt, Udo Major, Miss Mucky Pup, the mod team, all here ready and waiting to keep you all in line. Then we got Wolf Gamer, Gabris Vlog, Michael Snyder's Espirit. Is Spirit, Dion Sullivan, Alexander Lewis, Mac O'D, Harry Kennelly, Wolf Gamer, Infinity Ever, uh, DNO, DNA Festive, Scorpio, Krizyek, Parova, uh, Marius Pro, Otica, Pro, Pro, Prochaska, I think, Ninad Stefo, Stefanovic, uh, Ryan G., I think I've, uh, Hockey Boys and, uh, I Demon. Right, okay, I've said hello, Cornish Ants. We've got someone from Cornish, from Cornwall. Hello, Cornish, Cornwall person. Brian Johnson, CJ Contracted. We've got lots and lots of people here. Okay, I'll stop reading chat for a minute. I'm gonna try and basically ignore chat for periods of time so that I can get on with doing what I'm doing. So this mod right here, you'll see it's, it's the same as the other one except it starts off as default color is slightly different, but it does also have some extra options. We've got bigger engine options, basically. We go 570 on there, 731 for an extra 38,000, or if you spend an extra 58,000, you can go up to a thousand horsepower on this bad boy right here we have 159,000 that's going to cost us hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars I don't have hundred and eighty eight thousand so I'm going to be leasing this bad boy right here and yes I am taking all of the power that we can possibly get from it because we have another mod down here I need to go into trailers in here there is uh, two mods I've got right here I've got this Wilson trailer right there pace setter it's got a rear hitch on the back it's the only difference with this one it's got a rear hitch unfortunately these wilson trailers here do not take wood chips uh we need wood chips capacity today so i've also got this cramper right here the sb230 slash 1070 um this one's been changed and you can see it's 59,000 right there standard capacity uh, or you've got an extension for $10,000, which takes it up to 85000 Unfortunately, with this one, it doesn't actually add a visual to it. It's just increased the capacity on it. It's also got a rear hitch on the back. Another unfortunate thing is when you're using the standard dolly in the game, the, when the back door opens on the middle trailer, it does interfere with the trailer behind it. Now, I did try to find another one, but it didn't actually work properly, so we're just going to have to run it like this. We are going to take this at 85,000 litres. I'm going to lease that one right there, okay, and I'm going to lease a second one as well, like that, and then... That's actually part of a pack. It's a, it's a mod pack. It's got three mods in it. It's got that trailer. It's got the truck that I've just leased. And it's also got this one over here. This dolly. The only difference between this dolly and this one in here is that this one, you've got wheel options. Whereas this one here, you've also got rim color options as well. So we're going to change that. And we've got rim color options. So we'll take red right there to match our truck. And we're going to lease one of those. Right. That's the first bit that we wanted to do. So there is our little lineup that we've got. We're going to need to cute, um, string those together. And then we want to get them down to the farm. The other thing that we've got, I'm just going to go over. I brought this one down. You will see this on Monday's episode. We've got a little bit of time travel going on here. You'll see me getting this ready on Monday's episode. So we're going to be taking down these trees in this corner to start with. That's why we've got the scorpion because there's quite a few pine trees in here. So we'll be able to use the log auto loader on here. This is just a standard one. It's not a modded one, so it doesn't have longer logs available on it. 
Um, and then we've also got this Brux chipper right here. This is version 1.3. There's a link in the description down below. This one works beautifully. I did test it in Monday's episode. So if you... If, yeah. If you, I know we got this little bit of awkward time travel bit, which is a bit of a pain. But yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll all get along just fine with it. We won't mind. Uh, so we're going to be using this one right here. Um... I'm just going to run this one up the hill a minute up there. Uh, I like all your time lapses. I'm just going to quickly read some um, stuff on here. Uh, Tom's, you'll do a hardcore eventually. Uh, oh, and welcome, Batstar5, another of the mod team. Um, but, uh, yeah, hardcore mode, I start that on Thursday. We're starting the hardcore mode on Thursday. I've got a map lined up for it. It's Boulder Canyon, it's called. It looks quite cool. It doesn't have anything extra on it. We're going to have to buy absolutely everything all the way through it. Um, uh, Mac OD, I see um, you're asking. I said yesterday that I wanted people who wanted to be mods to contact me. And so I've got a bit of a mod team at the moment, right? Now, um, I will state that I don't want anybody under 18 doing the mod job. Um, I do feel that it is an over 18 sort of job only. I am aware Batstar5 is under 18. Um, he's got a channel. He does do his own videos and stuff, so it's pretty obvious that he's under 18. Um, he is kind of... He's an assistant mod. There's, he's come in as an assistant mod, um, and it, it's kind of a trial run. But ordinarily, I would say no to anybody under 18. So I just want to clarify that at the beginning, um, so that there's no uh, confusion on it. And let me just back that bad boy up there like that. There we go. So we've got these two here, like that. They they join together absolutely beautiful. I should have coloured all the, the, um, the wheels the same colours, um, because you can do that. But what I want to show you a minute is if I just quickly go through and then we force open. Oh, no, we can't force open here. I've got to go. I've got to drive it back to our farm in order to be able to force open. Um, right, hardcore mode. I have the, you know, the super hardcore series that we did. That one returns on Thursday. Boulder Canyon is the map. It's a 100% logging map. It's divided up into sections. The Grizzly Hills, I'd already sort of picked this one out and decided on it. Uh, Nigel Pipe informed me today that the Grizzly Hills map um, has now been released with a version 2 that has got, like, uh, everything you need in order to be able to um, do it. You've got all the placeable, all the cell points and everything, the BGA, the map's divided up into sections, and that would have been really cool because Boulder Canyon doesn't have any cell points on it. That's the only drawback to it. However, the way I'm going to work the Hardcore series... Whoa! Easy, Tiger. Easy. The way I'm going to work the Hardcore series, um, we're not going to need the um, placeables already on the map. I'm going to be buying those in later on at a significant cost, so it's basically harder for us. It's, it's going to increase the challenge, I feel for the entire series. So we'll be looking at that. We'll, we'll get to that. Um, that starts on Thursday. So we'll be playing this map for three days a week and we'll be playing the new Boulder Canyon map for three days a week as well. Really looking forward to doing that. It is going to be absolutely awesome. Now, let me come and swing in over here and I will get this trailer because we're also going to want this one ready so that we can do stuff with it. Um... I'm just going to pull it out of the way a minute first. If we get that one there, that's it. Right. And I'll back you out round there. Oops, steady. What are you trying to do, Frith? Come on. You're better than this. You ought to be. Now, if I bring that one to about there, I'll unhitch the... I can't see it. I don't want to unhitch it there. I want to go there, and then I want to unhitch like that. Pull that dolly forward. And I'll leave the dolly right there. And then I will go back and I will get that trailer. So we'll be able to use this trailer to move the full logs that the Ponzi Scorpion cuts down. There. Right. Got that one. That one's ready. And I can, I'm can. i just going to move this one up into the field a minute. And then we've got 
Uh, we'll get those trailers back on there. So we've got everything here ready to go. We're going to start chopping down some of these trees. The idea today... Let me just stop that one. And I'm going to go into here. So, yeah, I didn't get the Place Anywhere mod activated on the map at the moment. And I decided against it, even though it would have been useful. I did test it. And got rid of that. But I couldn't find any floating pieces of wood there anywhere. There's no reason why we can't actually get rid of that. And it really does frustrate me that we've got that there. There is absolutely no reason why that one should be there. Um, it makes no logical sense to me at all. But anyway, it, what's done is done. So what we want to do is we want to buy this field. And we want to buy this middle section here. We want to modify the terrain and clear it out all up to here. The track that runs up to this building, we're going to leave a track running up along here. And we're also going to do this track here that runs up to the hill at the top. So most of this bit here is going to be left. We'll just clear it of trees. Then this side over here, we're going to do some more work to it. And I want to put lots of chickens in. I want to put lots and lots of chickens in. I want to put three or four, if I can, large chicken pens down in there. And we'll see if we can do something with that. We can't put a large chicken pen in here at the moment. But I was hoping that if I could clear some of that out, maybe we could do it up there. Uh, but we need money for this. In order to be able to get this to work, we're going to need money. Which is why I brought this lot up here. So we're going to start off. I'm going to use this wood chipper here. And we're going to clear out some of these trees. And then once I've done that. Um, we can take the wood chips and we can sell them. I do say in Monday's episode how I was going to be looking for a, um, a placeable that I could put down closer to the farm so that I could sell the wood chips closer to the farm instead of having to run all the way to the sawmill. But I decided against that because the only placeables that I could find didn't seem to be... I don't, I don't know. They, they, they didn't sort of quite fit with um, the, the feel of stuff that I, I wanted to, to go with this. So I thought, no, we'll, we'll leave it like it is and we'll, we'll just do the long journey. We've got a thousand horsepower truck here, so we ought to be pretty good for this. Um, now, if I bring the truck along this way like this and I stop it right there like that, then we can run over to the tractor. We don't actually want that Joskin trailer on the back. The great thing about this particular mod now is it's got a 75,000 litre tank on board. And um, it's brilliant. This is It performs way, way better than it ever did in FS17. I am seriously impressed with this mod. It is um, already become one of my uh, firm favourites. And uh, let me have a look up through the um, chat a second before I start chopping trees. Um, just a lot more in this game. Uh, yeah, that dog is invincible. He's, he's absolutely invincible. He's, he's, he's very cool. Um, Frith, would you consider GTA 5 on the other channel? Uh, no. I'm not going to be playing any violent games. The other channel is for non-gaming stuff anyway. Um, and what else have we got? Uh, is the painting new? What painting? The painting on... Do you mean the painting on this? This is actually new paint, by the way. Uh, I realise that not all of you have seen this. So I'll just very quickly show you this one in the shop. Um, if I have a look in here a second... And we go there. That one right there, Brooks, all in one. You can choose any colour you want. And that's what the paint looks like on it. Uh, so I decided to go with hot pink because I just find... I, I do explain this in, in uh, Monday's video. I just find the idea of agricultural machinery in hot pink quite amusing. Because it's probably got to be one of the most difficult colours to keep clean. A white tractor is probably easier to keep clean than something in hot pink um and also it, it just looks quite cool i think yeah you know, seeing these i've seen hot pink excavators working on the side of the road it, it really does make you turn your head and look right anyway let's let's come out of there and um very very quickly right is seculus welcome hello hi how you doing i haven't spoken to uh, well actually i think weren't you here yesterday 
right in Sepulis? I, I, I think so. Anyway, um, do you think you know if they will add grass and bushes and landscaping stuff? I think they have said that there's something that they want to do. Um, got this game finally managed to play, and it feels it feels like it's missing something. Um, some of the mods, I think, that we had we got used to in FS17, they do make a difference, and they're working on it. it th there's going to be more stuff. You, um, money cheat is always good. Uh, will you ever play Euro Truck Simulator 2? Uh, yes, I have played it. I've done some time lapses on it. Probably won't do very much. Um, the painting option next to the land. Oh, oh, you mean um, on here? Landscaping. No, painting is... You've got the sculpting. Painting is just what you can change the textures to. Actually, I'll, I'll do that a minute. We'll, we'll just very quickly do that. So press F1 to bring up this control panel up here. Change landscaping mode. You press X to change it over. And then you've got the different ground types there. Right? So somebody suggested... That's just dirt on there. And you press Tab to go through them. So you've got right there, you've got a bit of concrete, which we don't really want. Uh, and then you've got a different dose of white concrete. That's dirt. That's another dirt. You do have to... It does cost money to use them. Um, that is kind of like a sandy grass type. You've got uh, straight grass there. You've got grass. Uh, there's this sort of texture here, really, that one is. And then you've got a darker grass right there. That is gravel. Yeah. Uh, then you've got one... That's, that's one color rock right there. And then there's a grey rock right there. Somebody suggested that what I could do is just turn this into a rock like this. Which I think is actually a really good idea. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint this one into a rock like this. Alright, this is actually a really cool idea. So I'm, I'm just going to do this a minute. There. So we've got this great big stone that has turned up. In the middle of all this digging that we were doing. It's a massive, great big granite boulder that has just turned up. And, yeah, that well, at least where I live, we, we it's all granite where I live. Um, it's granite everywhere. And having a granite boulder turn up in the middle of something when you're trying to do your work is completely realistic. You know, if you try and dig stuff out, it would take a lot more to remove that. So, yeah, that's what that one is. Um, there. There. Right, I am going to turn away from chat for a bit, and we're going to go on with this. So let me go through here, and we're going to fire that bad boy up like that. Um, I'll open that bad boy like that, and then uh, fire it up. Right, now, this thing is absolutely fantastic, okay? We lower it down. It starts off by cutting the tree on the outside edge. Right? He says. There, look. Sometimes the tree, the, the cutting bit is not brilliant, but there. It's cut the tree. 43,000 litres of wood chips has gone into it already. And then you go forward a bit more, and now the stump grinder attachment has kicked in, and it's ground that away completely. Right? The, the stump has just gone completely, it, and it works really, really well. Like, seriously, really well. It's awesome. It's absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to go over here. Now, I got 43,000 litres in here, which gives me a... Excuse me. I got more than 30,000 still available. So I'm going to go up to this next tree, and it's just the outside, the, the saw bit, but it does do it pretty quick. We're now up to 63,000 on board this one. I appreciate that it's not entirely realistic, the um, the tank capacity on it. You know, it does carry 75,000 litres on board, this one. You don't have to use it like this if you don't want to, but I think it just works. It's It, it just seems to work. The other thing is... Whoa, 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 slow down. Um, it empties almost instantly. You see the speed that it emptied that out? You haven't got to wait around for it to... Um, unload its load of wood chips into another vehicle. So we've got one tree here that we can get. That one there we don't actually own. Anything across that road is not ours. If we go down to the lands down here, we don't own anything beyond that track. That track is the edge of our land there. So we can get the one across there, but we can get this one, which is another 40,000 litres. So I'm just going to lower down like that. Um... 
that going to go in right that might not because that's now yeah that's, that's doing the stump grinding what do you know this is the first time I've had oh there we go let's cut right through it instantly now what's it going to do is that is that going to chop it through Ah, it's the first time I've actually had any kind of trouble with this one at all. And I did sort of, I did test this one quite a bit. And especially the stump grinder bit, because that was the bit that I always had trouble with. Oh, there we go. We got that last little bit. Now we can go over and we can grind that stump. Just get right over on top of it like that. Takes it all out. Job done. Right, that's beautiful. It's like poetry in motion. So we will just lift that one up. And now we've got another load of wood chips over here as well there so we've loaded up the first trailer already completely full and the second one is getting ready and I've got to, I've got two more of the big trees in here I'll get these two out and then we can go um, disappear off up to the sawmill and we can sell them Oops, that was gonna cut there we go there that one cut and then come in forward a little bit more tidy that bit up a bit nice and then I'll go on up there take another one out right that's filled it up because you know for obviously 45,000 a tree for those big ones I've gone a little bit too excessive on there that's the other thing with it if you do take too much it will end up um, yeah, the wood chips just disappear so they they do that we have lost those wood chips Unfortunately, I probably should have paid a little bit more attention and then we'd have been all right. But I got 75,000 litres on there, which is more than I can carry in that load anyway. So let's just stop that one, drop that down and there. Right. Uh, streaming. Normally streams for about two hours. Yes, I normally try to go for about two hours if I can. Um... Should definitely allow us to cut grass, weeds, bushes with that option because now if you want to make fields smaller, you can. But if you want grass, then you have to plough it. Yeah, that is one thing. Oh, I mean, yeah, you've got the roller as well. You've got the roller option, but again, it removes the grass. And it would be quite cool if you had an option that would put grass back on. That would be quite cool. Um, but we'll have to see. Uh, we're... I don't do two time lapses a week anymore because I just don't have the time for it. And also I found that I was, you know, I get burned out on games. I do. Um, mainly I think because I have ADHD and so I can't focus for too long on one thing. If I spend too long on one thing, one game, anything like that, I get bored with it. I get fed up with it. And then the quality of whatever I'm producing ends up invariably being absolutely rubbish. So I don't want to do it. Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna, st I, I'm gonna play this, whoa, okay, this, this, this wiggling around a lot, this, this extra weight on here is, is, we, we, we're definitely feeling it, the physics, it does seem like the physics have been slightly improved with the game, with, like, the trailers and that, compared to the last version of the game, which is quite cool, I like that, um, what else we've got on here? How did you learn to edit videos? Uh, editing is confusing. The way I learned to do absolutely everything on the YouTube channel, that's um, editing videos, editing sound. I record sound and video separately, and then I join them together while I'm editing them. Um, I learned how to do all of that through hours and hours and hours of Google research. All right? I googled absolutely everything. I researched it. I read loads and loads of different websites, watched loads and loads of different videos uh, and tips and tricks and all of that. And when I say hours, I started on this journey about five years ago and every single break time um, while I was at work, I wasn't talking to people. I was on my phone researching websites, looking up how to do it. I was doing it in my spare time. I was sat in front of my computer for hours at a time learning how to do it, practicing how to do it. And then as soon as I was able, I started making videos. I started making 
um, Minecraft videos with my wife, and we didn't even sort of do those as a thing to earn money. We did those as a way to learn how to run and do a YouTube channel. Uh, it, I had no intention of those ever kind of being a big thing. Uh, it was just mostly it was learning. And that's how I did it. It was just many, 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 many hours of, of constant research and um, practice and everything else. Right, why are you... Oh, I see. I've got to... I've actually got to have the trailer selected, but there, you see what I mean with the, the gates on the back? It is a bit of a problem. Um, the road train configuration is not great for the short ones, and also it's not great for tipping here either. But we're getting some money for it, so we get a little bit of cash for that. Um, should we do, we're getting quite a bit of cash for that. It's 85,000 litres. $25,000 we got for that. And it should start to close down in a minute. And then we'll go to the back. And that one can start tipping while this one here does its funny thing. We're closing. There we go. Right. Everybody's happy. That's all tipping up quite nicely. Absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, that's how I did that. How long do you record for a time lapse? Roughly five hours. Between five and six hours. And, yeah. Oh, Udo's um, answered that one. Um, we've got... Yeah, time lapses on Felsbrunn. Uh, another 25,262 in harvest income. So we'll take this on back down to the bottom now. And that's all the wood chips that we need to do for a minute. So we'll get that Ponzi Scorpion fired up and we'll use that one to... Easy. Easy, Tiger. Um, we get some of those trees harvested and get them cut down. Then we can get those over to the... Um, the sell point and sell those. That should be fairly quick, actually. And then we should be able to go and buy some more land. Then we're going to get back onto the wood chipper and start chipping up some of the trees that are going to be in the way. Get that salt loaded onto here. And this, I'm hoping, will also pay for a whole load of chickens and chicken farms and stuff like that. So I, I've, I've got big, big plans. And I was thinking you know, I'd like level out a massive great big area, but I, I'm not sure about leveling out a great big area. I'm thinking that we put the chicken farms down first, and then we kind of level out some bits in between, and we put tracks in between. It would make it seem a more organic and natural farm rather than this massive great big kind of, um, uh, you know, like a factory farm. I don't really want a factory farm. I don't really want that. Right. Come along here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to have a look a little bit to the side on... Um, oop, steady. Trying to have a look a little bit to the side on the chat as well while I'm driving. See if I can do that. Um, rendering rendering on your phone could be difficult. Although, um, I think that you can do like a thing where you can just upload the video direct. I'm not really sure, though. Um, uh, doing it on the phone, I, I have got no idea. Uh, Cheddar, 21. Yeah, I'm married with two kids. Um, oh, right, okay. I'll, I'll, um, I've, I've no idea what he said. Uh... Are you still playing Gold Rush? I've got no plans to go back to Gold Rush at the moment. Um... Remember what I said about playing too much of a game and I get, uh, you know, fed up with it and I, I tend to burn out? I completely... I played Gold because so many people really love Gold Rush. Um, I played that way more than I should. Right? Way more than I should. 25 episodes more than I should have done. I should have stopped long before then and taken a good long break from it. But I didn't. I kept going because I thought, oh, this is what everybody wants. And I ended up hating that game. And I... I still can't get back into it. I did try. I've, I've looked at it. I've seen the updates. But I just... I, I, I'm not going to be able to make good quality content if I try to go back and play it. So I'm very sorry to anybody that does want it. It's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, let's have a look. Uh, right. Hello, everybody. Lots of new people joining. I just want to say hello. How are you? Great to see you all here. And let's go with this bad boy here. Let me just check that we've got this. That we have got it on 8 meters. Ideal. And now... Right. 
this this is always the tricky bit is, is trying to get this thing lined up so let me bring it back like that maybe there a little bit go on nice there we go right now we want to lower it down without flipping the thing upside down the only downside to this is it is actually going to be quite a bit slower doing it with the Ponzi Scorpion in order to get the timber than it is just going through with that um, tree shredder because we've still got to go through and find the stumps afterwards. Although I'm not too worried about that because what I was thinking to do with that is we'll use the landscaping tool and we'll just clear everything off the top. Um, Nigel Pipe actually had a really cool suggestion for that. He said go through and plow everything first. Go through and play. He, he goes through and he plows everything first. And then he goes through with the stump grinder because um, the plough will just go round all of the stumps and it, it very quickly shows up all of the stumps and it then becomes very, very easy to see where they all are and, and deal with them. And well, that's a really good idea, actually. I really like that idea. So I may be, I may be trying that one. There we go. Why aren't, you, why, why aren't you cutting? There we go. Sometimes it does take a little bit to cut. Doesn't like to do it. Uh, I think you just because of the position that it's in. Okay, uh, I'll bring that back over there. Does anybody? Oh, there they are. I was gonna say, does anybody know where those logs have gone? They're right down there. It's okay. Right, we'll pull that one through there and bring that back around like that. I think I might get the mod for this one that does um, up to 12 meter logs. I don't want 12 meter logs, but I do want 10 meters. I thought 10 meter logs would be quite cool to have. So I'm seriously considering getting the mod for this one that allows you to do that. Um, it's not much of a change, I don't think. Uh, I know quite a lot of people used to use that in FS17 as well. It's really good being able to do the 10 meter logs. Right, chop that one through there. Bring you up a bit, like that. And I think instead of trying to drag them too far, we'll, we'll just kind of do it like that and, and chop them up into a great big heap. Uh, how are things going, Frithgar? Going good at the moment. We're going good. Um, I did say yesterday, I've been a little bit concerned this week because the view counts on my channel have gone down. And when you become sort of a full-time YouTuber, you, you rely on this so much. So I've been worrying about this a little bit. Um, but it, I see it's sort of coming back up again now. It's, um, it's, it's the first week of January. Everybody's going back to work and back to school and back to uni and, and back to just, you know, normal life after the Christmas holidays. And so it's, it's kind of kind of the sort of thing that you'd expect. But at the same time, you know, when your entire livelihood now, like now because I do this full time, my entire livelihood depends on eyes on my videos. And so when I suddenly have like a major dip um, and I'm not getting any eyes on the videos, it's like... What, what have I done wrong? What, 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 what have I done? I've obviously done something wrong. Have I, have, I, have I released a video without me realizing that's upset everybody and now and that's why nobody's ever going to watch my channel again? Um, and yeah, you, you, you do think these things. Right, well, I do anyway. Um, but that's, that's just kind of part and parcel of it. You, you've got to try and uh, ignore that bit. So anybody that is considering starting up a YouTube channel, um, yeah, try to ignore the numbers. That being said, it's practically impossible to try to ignore the numbers. Yorkshire Dano! Hello, sir! New member, Yorkshire Dano! Um, yeah, um, welcome back, and thank you ever so much again to uh, Yorkshire Dano for subscribing to the channel. It is absolutely brilliant. Uh, Miss Mucky Pup said the same. It didn't auto-renew, and uh, nobody's quite sure why. I did sort of look into it a little bit and I did see a few of things coming up that other people's hadn't either so I'm not really sure about that um, now let me go oh. and there nope nope Come on we, we, we can do this we can do this okay there we go look at that look at that there we go we, we, we'll put that one onto there and then way down the bottom like that I just, I just want to lift that one up and right 
bring that back in there like that. Oops, no, I don't want to do that either. I want to I wanna kind of bring that one there, and then I want to drag that one round a bit like that. And... Right. There we go. Uh, it's okay, my kids are watching, and I don't want to answer them if they ask what that means. Um, please just... Don't say anything that you wouldn't say to your grandmother in the middle of a church. That's, that's basically... The, the standard rule for the channel is if you wouldn't say it to your grandmother in the middle of the church, uh, it's, it's probably best to not say it here because there are some very young children sometimes that watch the channel and I want to make sure that they are able to continue to do so. So that, that, that's probably the best, best, best option you can go for. Like, is this, is this going to go on to the, on, it's not, look, look at this, look at this, it's not going to go on to this tree, I'm, it's, it's going to, I'm going to make it work, you will go in there, no he won't, it's, it's absolutely not going to, and now we've, we, we, it's, it's done that weird, oh, wrong way, there, it's done that weird thing, and because I got it set on my D-pad, it does that weird thing as well occasionally, where it flicks from one machine to the other, you may have seen it happen in um, the time lapse when I'm trying to do some logging stuff. I just like mysteriously jump from one machine to another. That's because the D-pad does um, strange things like that. It does get a bit frustrating, especially when it happens like several times in a row. It, it is extremely annoying. Right. I'll bring that round here and you should try to use course play to plow the field. I would, well, I didn't get on all that well with course play. I mean, course play was all right. I, 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 I sort of thought it was all right. My personal favourite. I mean, like ploughing and stuff. I, I, well, there was a few jobs I did with course play, but I really liked the AI vehicle extension. I got on really well with that, especially for combining. I thought that one was such a wonderful mod. But I've no idea if that one's being done. I, I've, I've no idea if somebody is uh, doing that. Uh, we have got Silent Shadow. Thank you very much. Sup, Frith? I must ask, does your YouTube name have anything to do with your last name? Because maybe we share a last name. Uh, no. It does not have um, a... Uh, hang on. Sorry. Help for review. Right. Uh, yeah, um, YouTube name, no, it's, uh, my, uh, Frithgar, the, the channel name is entirely 100%, um, my gamer tag. It's a gamer tag that I, Nigel Pipe has become a member as well. Thank you very much, Mr. Pipe. That is absolutely awesome. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, so, yeah, the, uh, Frithgar, basically, I sat down one day many years ago now, many years ago, and I can say many years, with, you know, without actually, you know, being, being ridiculous. I'm 37 years old, and this happened before I turned 20. I think I was maybe 19. May have been before then, actually. Uh, 19. I might have been 20. I don't know, but we're talking many years. We're, we're talking many years long ago back before the days of um smartphones and uh you know and, and stuff like that so um and i sat down and to play a, a session of boulder's gate boulder's gate was the name of the game and i was just sort of getting warmed up and i was getting into it and i had to name a character and i thought oh, what do i name my character and demanded a name well i always like to just pluck a random fantasy name out of thin air and use it and so I just thought for, I must have put 15 seconds of thought into it, and I came up with Frithgar. And I actually really liked the name, so I thought, oh, I'll keep using that one, and that's where it came from. I, I've, I've used the name Frithgar ever since. That lonesome stormy night, and it was like fate, it really was. I have, um, I've, I've been Frithgar ever since. 37 just a pup, I'm 39 this, well, I'm 38 this year. You're only a year older than me. O only a year. Just a year. Um, oops, there we go. Why is that held for review? I don't understand. Uh, I would love... Would somebody approve Nigel's message a second? Love me a YouTube video maker, but do not have the gift of the gab. 
please now I remember just Nigel would do not so formal okay Mr. Pipe I will bear that in mind I will, I will absolutely bear in mind that it is not to be Nigel Pipe at all times or Mr. Pipe it is just to be Nigel um Nigel 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 is in a video. I've, I've seen a video just recently where Nigel came up. The name Nigel came up a lot. And I can't remember what it was now. I'm sure that there is some comedy associated with this. And it could be funny comedy as well. And now I can't remember what it was. What was Nigel? Does anybody know of any films that have a Nigel? And I'm talking, you know, animated type films. I, I, I tend to watch a lot of animated films. Um, Nigel, I'm sure I, I know lots of, the thing is, I know lots of Nigels, I know loads of Nigels, I actually know, I think I know, um, me personally, I know what, uh, I think eight Nigels in real life, I think it's eight and counting, and that's not counting Nigels from the internet that I haven't actually met in person, so, this is why I often refer to you as Nigel Pipe, because I'm actually separating you from many, many other Nigels in my own mind. Uh, 65. Up, Sally's Markstead. I'm 61. We have a 13-year-old. And uh, Grandpa at 45. As hardly a Grandpa. Yorkshire Dano is 31. Honestly, I thought you were a bit older than that. I thought you were more similar to my age. You, um, Yorkshire Dano, you, you have the you have the wisdom about you of the of the older person. It's probably just because I, I'm sort of slightly in awe of um, your map making abilities, um, because quite frankly, it, it may as well be witchcraft as far as I'm concerned. I'm I'm not able to do modding and, and map making and stuff. So, um, you know, generally, when a person looks at something that is completely beyond them, it may as well be magic. So, yeah, it, it, that, that, this is kind of what it feels like. Uh, do I know the seven deadly sins? I know of them. I know the film. I know the film, the, dead, the seven deadly sins. Um, how many more? I think I'm going to cut. I'm just going to cut down a few more. I'm going to cut all of these down with this one. Because this is taking longer than I want it to. I don't want to spend the entire time just chopping these trees down. Let's go and grab that one over there. And there we go. Nailed it. Right. I'll get you there and I'll lift you up and we'll haul you back over here a minute. And what else have we got? That's too big. There's one over there that I'm going to get. I'm just going to get these, uh, the bigger logs here, the easier ones to pick up. And then the small stuff will we'll shred all of that up with the, the chipper because it's going to be a lot faster. Um, my game name is Blue Dragon. Okay, well, I, I, I might remember that. I might remember Blue Dragon. I might remember that. I probably will eventually. One, once I've been told, probably 300 times, I'll eventually remember. Uh, this, this is why I always say I'm, I'm never quite sure. I have a conversation with somebody in the comment section, and I've been told, like, uh, valuable information that is um, quite good, and I want to pass it on to everybody, and I always just end up saying, somebody told me. I, I, I never actually mention you by name, anonymous somebody, um, because it's not because I'm being rude uh, or because I'm refusing to name people or anything like that. It's simply because I forget who it is. Uh, I, I literally, I just forget. I am hopeless with remembering people's names. Uh, absolutely hopeless. So it's, it's always somebody said. Somebody said. And then we can go back through here. Um... Now my game name is imand2211, which means someone in Dutch. <laughs> I like that. Uh, only ships the US and Brad Pitt movie 7. Um, somebody talking about the... Um, I was talking about something. I'm not really sure. Launched a few weeks ago, only ships the US. Uh, is, is that merchandise? Is that question about the merchandise? There is links to the merchandise in the description down below. Unfortunately, all we've got is um, 
I think it's hoodies that will only ship in the US and t-shirts that only ship in the UK because Amazon, we, we went through Amazon because we thought, oh, this would be really good. We'll be able to get like a whole load of stuff from here. Turns out it wasn't good and we're not able to get a whole load of stuff and it's very, very limited on what it can do. So we are, wait a minute, switch auto load to right. It's all changed. It's actually all changed. <gasps> I wonder if it's because it's now on a lorry. Show loading position. It's because it's on a lorry. How do I move it? Um, I, pr I just press Z. Like that. <laughs> Look. I can, can, can you see that? I had it on a... This is why it didn't work when I was trying to do this before. Because I had on a tractor and a dolly. And that's why it didn't work. But it now works. Look, if I, I'll, so I'll put that. You go all the way up to that end. There's 10.5 up there. And I want to put this sort of there. I'll go to 6 meters right there. And I won't move it again. So then if I hide loading position, it shouldn't move. Oh, it does. Right. Don't move the joystick when you're using the trailer. Right, little tip. From me to you, don't, don't move your joystick. Whatever you've got for um, moving your, your logs when you've got this trailer. It doesn't matter if the loading position is there or not. Right. Um, so switch auto loading to the right. Yeah, I'll do that. that. I wondered why. You know, everybody was saying, look, it's, it's really, really good. And I could not get it to work. But, um, yeah, that's why. That's why I couldn't get it to work properly. Was simply because it was... Um, it was on a, a dolly on the tractor rather than being hooked directly onto a truck. That's why. And now we've got it directly onto a truck. It's working beautifully. Everything about it is absolutely perfect. It's like poetry in motion, this thing is. And I do like an auto. I do like me an auto loader. I do love me an auto loader. Except that it's not auto loading. Why aren't you working? There we go. It's done that one. And it's done that one. So I need to go a little bit closer to that one over there. Oop. Easy, sunshine. Easy. I'll get carried away. Go on now. And then we go to there. Um, will you play My Time at Porsche on your channel? I looked at My Time at Porsche. And I don't know about that one. I might try and do a live stream with it. Um, it, it's very similar to Stardew Valley, but, I mean, ultimately, Stardew didn't prove to be all that popular with people. Um, Graveyard Keeper ended up being more popular than Stardew by a significant amount in the end, and I still get quite a lot of repeat views on that series. So, you know, that one, I feel, was more successful. Although he is doing... The creator of Stardew Valley is now doing more work on Stardew Valley, which sort of, you know, it, it may end up being that Stardew becomes more popular again. So I, I might end up going back to that one. I don't know yet. We'll wait and see. But, uh, no, I, I don't have any plans to do a big series on my time at Porsche at the moment. Got one more. There we go. Right, I, I've got that lot up there. I think I had another few logs left lying over here somewhere. Isn't that? Yeah, I knew I had more. There, there's, there's just four more over there. If we can get these on, we get the whole lot in one load. Should be really cool. There, right. Straps. Put the straps on and also stop the auto load. So we're going to slowly make our way up the track up here. And then we'll get this lot unloaded and sold. Ooh, don't tip over. Whatever you do, do not tip it over. Um, right. Always Mako. No one calls me by my name anymore since third grade. Um, when Bully gave me the nickname. Not even your parents and grandparents. That's pretty cool. Um, I do have that. I have never died in FS15. Uh, in Farming Simulator at all. Um, go and have a look at Sinikadu's channel. He's, he does that brilliant. He, he did one in FS15. I don't know if he did it in 17, but he recently did another one in FS19, which was different ways to die in FS19. And it was quite cool. It was quite a funny video. I did enjoy that one. All right, we'll stop that one right there. And then we're going to skip out. 
Uh, let's have a look and see how much we think we're going to get. I reckon we're going to get around about 40 grand for this. To Blamo. $49,300. Okay, so we got closer to 50000 for that. That's pretty good. No, I, I'd say as far as significant quantities of cash go, that is a significant quantity of cash. I, I'm quite pleased with that. Let me run down through here. By the way, I have a link in the description for the um, the Place Anywhere mod. It didn't work for me. I couldn't get it to show up in the game. I have actually put a little note beside it. In the file name when you first download it, it's got a dash in the actual file name when it should be an underscore. Delete the dash and replace it with an underscore on the file name just in the, in your mod folder where you normally would go and drop a mod. Um, that's uh, just just the, the title, the, the actual name of that mod folder, the zip file, um, has got a dash in there instead of an underscore. Delete the dash, replace it with an underscore, and it should show up in the game absolutely fine. Um, but I have made a little note of that in the description for where you've got it. Oh, there, we want to go over there. Right. Um, hello from Ireland. Noah Fallon. Uh, I know Dagawin. I'm from Hungary. A thousand subs. Um... A thousand subs with no name. I don't know if I could do that. A, th a thousand subs with no videos, rather, not with no name. Uh, I'm from Cornwall in the UK. I am from Cornwall. I am from sunny Cornwall in the UK. And right now, it well, actually, it, it, it's middle of the night, but it's been raining all day, which is about right for Cornwall. Everybody says sunny Cornwall. Usually it's raining. We usually have rain. Lots and lots of rain. We have different types of rain. Sometimes we have heavy rain. We didn't have heavy rain today. We, we, we had uh, not so heavy rain today. It was more of a drizzle. But it was still rain. It was still the good old familiar rain of Cornwall. And I'll lower that one down. Right, we'll take out the rest of these here. i just going to do these. I was actually thinking of doing some over the other side. Up over there. Uh, but I don't think we need to. We want to go and buy that land down there. And get on with that bit of the show next. So we'll... I'm just going to take a couple of these trees off the side. I don't actually think we need to be here at all, really. Because um, I'll come back here another time to um, get the rest of this stuff. Right. We will move then. Get that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, leave, we'll leave all of that lot. Let's just leave it behind. We don't want it. We'll lift that one up. I'll worry about stumps and all the rest of it some other time. Let me just... Bring that one over there and quickly dump those off. And then we want to go... Actually, we'll go up this way. And we'll bring the truck along to us in a minute. And we use that one. And we can go up there. I love the West Country. I was born in Somerset. Where are you? Um, my dad was born in Somerset, incidentally. He was born, I think, on the edge of the Mendips. What would it have been? Maybe 30... 20 or 30 miles away from Cheddar Gorge he was born um, go to there he's not much of a Somerset person though he moved to Wales when he was 6 months old and spent the first 14 months of his life living in Wales so he's really more kind of Welsh than he is Somerset that's not cutting that's just that's what I needed Right, we've got, we've got to do it like that, I think. Not doing it right. we got a stubborn one here. We have got a properly stubborn stump right here. If I can bring that forward a bit. If I go back over here. I'll do it like that. There. Sit on it there. There we go, that got it. Right, that one's out. We only had 425 litres of wood chips from that. Um, right, Grizzly Mountain has been updated with the cell point and everything. Yes, um, I see it's got that. It's got everything that I could possibly want for the Hardcore series, except that 
I've already got another map already planned out. It's called Boulder Canyon, and it looks quite cool. I'm very pleased with it. Somebody suggested it in the chat section um, a, a few days ago now. I went and had a look at it, and I am very pleased with Boulder Canyon. So Boulder Canyon is going to be the first hardcore series. And then we'll have a look at others. Maybe one from FDR logging will come later on. One of the... That's not cutting. Why is it suddenly being difficult for me now? Um, one of the reasons that I didn't want to use Boulder Canyon is because uh, Dagoin is using... Not Boulder Canyon. Uh, Grizzly Hills is because Dagoin is using that one for his uh, survival type series. But he does... Um, and I'm very much aware that my hardcore series and his survival type series are fairly similar in terms of actual gameplay and I thought that um, it would probably be best if I tried to keep my type of um, hardcore gameplay a little bit further away from um, that map. Um, I don't really want to have mine on exactly the same map that he's using because that's just going to end up backfiring for me. I'm just going to get like abusive messages and, and nonsense like that. So um, no, I'm I'm not I'm not planning to go for that at the moment. Um, but this, uh, this this Boulder Canyon one that I found looks really really good. I'm actually really pleased that I've got this one. It it looks absolutely awesome. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. It doesn't have the placeable cell points. It, well, it doesn't have the cell points built in. I'm going to be getting some placeable ones later on and. Which means that I'm going to have to pay to be able to... Essentially, I'm paying to open up some um, new trade routes. That's, that's basically what I'm, having, I'm going to have to do. Is I'm going to have to pay to open up trade routes in my uh, Super Hardcore series. And I thought that was actually quite a good take on it. And it, it's going to um, give us a little bit of an extra challenge as well. But it could be fun. So, uh, but other than that, I mean, the, the map itself is absolutely brilliant. Um, the guy has gone through, he's done a lot of work on it, and it, it does look like it's going to be pretty good for the series. Um, where do you live? Hang on. I just went to England to pick up a Land Rover. It took eight hours to drive back. Land Rovers are very noisy. Yeah. i I, I got to be honest with you. I, I, I have some friends who are Land Rover nuts. Right, they, they absolutely worship Land Rovers. They think they are the best thing since sliced bread. And I gotta be honest with you, I do not see the attraction with Land Rovers. I never have. I've never understood why some people go so sort of gaga about Land Rovers. You know, I, I I do understand that they they are very robust and they're a tough machine, and you could do just about anything with them, but they're they're noisy and uncomfortable and and yeah that they, they don't appeal to me in the slightest i've never never really got that um and i, I i've always been quite honest with my friends about it as well i, I just tell them that i think they're insane nut jobs and, and then they're quite happy with that you know we, we, we all have uh, different things that we want to do is fs19 pay to win um i suppose fs19 could be pay to win never really considered FS19 pay to win to be honest <laughs> that could be quite uh, ne pay to win FS19 that, that is a very unique sort of concept that is I think um, when will I do time lapses every Sunday always time lapse every Sunday and no I have absolutely no plans whatsoever to ever live stream my recording of time lapse uh, I've said that before and I will just say it now before anybody goes asking, if nobody has asked. Um, but no, I, I don't have any plans to live stream the recording of it because it wouldn't work. I've got to, I've got to concentrate on what I'm doing with um, recording the time lapse. I've got to make sure I get it right, um, the camera angles, and make sure that everything's flowing properly. And sometimes I have to go and re-record sections. Um, and yeah, it would just be a massive headache that I don't really want to try and live stream whilst recording it. So, no, that's not happening. Um, just drop that one. Oh, that's a bit better. Very noisy, that thing, isn't it? 
I mean, it, it, it's nice. It's, it's very, very nice the way that it works. I mean, look at it. We've cleared out a massive, great big chunk here. Okay, that, that is absolutely wonderful. It's beautiful how much we've cleared here. But still, it's horribly noisy. Very horribly noisy. Are you going to unload? <laughs> I love that. I love it. I absolutely love it. That is brilliant. Now I want to have a look at a little bit. Of, I know that we've got the landscaping thing going on over here. But I'm, I'm going to just go to the landscaping. And I'm going to switch over to... I'm going to press X to go back to this landscaping mode. So we've got our big rock here in the middle. That one's going to stay there. That's just going to sort of be a feature now. Um, I was considering... We, we might try and do something to remove it later on. But I'm not going to at the moment. So now I've got... Terrain... Don't you do this to me. I had, a, I know that we've got those... I, I took those stumps out. Those stumps are gone. Oh, it might... Ah, I don't own the land. It might just be that. Right. Before we do this bit, let's do this other bit instead. We go land like that. I want to buy this one anyway, and I want to buy that one. So we've got the money already to buy this one. 152,000. We buy that. Yes. Right, now... I will go into here, and I will start landscaping. Now, what... Terrain cannot be modified. No, that's not to do with that. Why isn't it able to be modified? Is it? It's, it's got to be to do with this house here, isn't it? Surely it must. Surely that must be it. It's not letting me do anything to that bit. As though that tree has remained to affect it. Uh, well, we also had a tree over here somewhere, didn't we? There's no sign that that one has stayed behind. And there's no sign that the road down here... Oh, but no, look, look. It's in a square around that, isn't it? No, I think it is actually the tree stump. Unfortunately. What about further along? We had another tree stump over here. No, there's, there's nothing that's affected it further back. It's just one bit up there. It looks like it might be one of those redwood trees again. Um... Well, I can pull it in. Yeah, it does look indeed like it might have been one of those redwood trees again. I was going to bring that in. I wanted to try and, like, level the bottom out here a little bit. Because it will pull that out. It's, it, it has pulled that out there. But we've got one bit here that's kind of stuck up in the air. That's a shame. I mean, I didn't, I didn't want to eat into that too much anyway. So what I'm going to do instead is I wanted to just try and level this off a bit. But we might have to have just a bit that's stuck out there. So I wanted to bring that up into a slope like this. And that was going to be the end of it. And then instead what we're going to do is try and have it a bit more natural up here. So I need that to... That's got to blend here. How are we going to do this? We have to blend that. That's got, that's got to blend upwards. It's not going to blend any other way. It's got to blend upwards. Yeah, see? It's just not going to have it. Uh, I can make that circle a bit bigger. Let's try that. There. Ooh, that's better. You can make it stronger as well if you want to. We'll bring that up there. Ooh, that's, that's lowering it down a bit on this side. Let's go in and have a look. How are we done? I want to... Rain cannot be modified. Right. I want to bring... I want to raise that up a bit there, I think. And then... We'll do that. And try and get these two to join together. Like this. Can we do that? Is this too much to ask? I don't think it is. I think it's... I think this is acceptable. It's a little bit ropey on the edge there, but I, I think this is going to be all right. Uh, let me have a look. There's a lump of granite under the ground, which was made up by an Englishman streaming a video at 10 o'clock. <laughs> yep, that's, that's, that's what happened to it. 
And... Okay, so we've got a little bit of dip in the road here. I think this will work all right. It's not it's not brilliant, but I think I think that's going to be okay. And then we've got that bit up there, which I also want to do something about. So like that there, I can bring that up. I'll have to just kind of do it like that. Bring that round. So the lower side of this... I don't actually care to keep that road at all. I'm, I'm not interested in keeping the road. We're going to do something else with it. We'll just kind of... Uh, I'll shape it off a minute at the moment because I don't want the sharp edges left on there. I don't think that's going to be appropriate for it. So I'll remove that bit out. And... Um, and we'll come down through there like that. Remove some of that. I, I want to alter this a bit. It's not quite high enough. So what I'm going to do, if I can, actually, I want to. I'll have to make that a bit smaller. I think. I want to. I just want to bring this out a little bit because that's. It's still a bit too steep right there. So if I can just raise that, it'll let me. It doesn't want to let me. It doesn't like that, does it? I do it like that. I bring that level to about there, like that, and then take it out. And now we'll do the other tool where we do this kind of smoothing feature. And now smooth that through there like that. I think that'll work a bit better because we've we've now got like a little tiny bit of extra ground here that will go into this smoothing. And I can smooth it up through there. That should be slightly better. There we go. Right. And bring that up there. Okay. See, Nigel, you know that you said that you, you had to laugh out loud about me making sure that I couldn't launch my tractors off of here. I don't actually intend to go launching my tractors. It's just it's just one of those things that happens. You know, I, I, I kind of look at it and I think, ooh, you know what we could do here? You know what we could do here? Right, Sepulis and others, have a fun time. you got to go. It's really good for you to call in. It was absolutely brilliant seeing you here. I forgot to mention, I did mention it in last night's stream, actually. I'm planning on changing how I'm doing the live streams. I, at the moment, I was saying, you know, it's going to be every three weekends, I'll do a live stream on Friday night and a live stream on Saturday night doing a couple of different games. Me and Sen have been talking about this, and we think it's kind of a... It, it turns it into rather a hectic weekend if I could do all this live streaming on one weekend. Um, so maybe it'd be better if we did it slightly differently. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be live streaming every Friday night. And one week I'll do Farming Simulator. The following week I will do a different game. And that's how we'll go. We're, we're going to sort of try and do the two... Try and do... like So we'll alternate... So you'll have Farming Simulator every other week on Friday evening. It'll be Friday evening, 8 p.m. GMT. Occasionally, I will do it later or... Early, well, probably later rather than earlier, because I think earlier is not convenient for very many people at all. Um, but later is definitely convenient for the States and for Australia uh, and New Zealand and uh, many, many, many other places in the world as well, actually. So sometimes I will do it later, but at the moment it'll be 8 p.m. GMT, or when the summer gets here, it'll be 8 uh, GMT plus 1, um, and on a Friday evening. So I won't be doing anything next weekend, but the following weekend is when I will start, and I don't know yet if I will do the first one as another Farming Simulator one, or if I'll do another random game first. Oh, excuse me. Uh, we'll have to see. Right, uh... Let's have a look back through here. So has anyone experienced a floating cotton bale glitch? Uh, no, I've not seen that at all. Anyone from Malta? Or am I the only Maltese here? I, I don't know if anybody else is. Uh, Frithgar, what do you call a person with no body and no nose? Um, I don't actually know. I, I thought I knew my jokes. I really did. I thought I knew my jokes. I am ashamed to say I've got no idea. I, I, I really don't. Um, Frithgar, can you do a collab with Dagwin? Dagwin's not going to want to do a collab with me, trust me on this. Um, 
Let me switch over from landscaping. I want to go to painting mode. And we should have our rocks right there. There we go. Look. So we have another rocky outcrop right here. This is why we can't do anything with it. It's a big old rocky outcrop right there. Look. See that? I'll bring that round there. And then onto there like that. And... I, 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 I think I don't want to go too close. I'll just, just sort of bring it up like that, I think. There. Right. There's another bit of granite that is stuck up out in the middle of nowhere. And then finally, we got one more that I want to add in over here where this other tree stump is. we got one more right here. So I put that granite in there. Like that. Another big lump of granite. I'm liking this. I'm, I'm, li I'm liking this granite thing. Um, and we'll switch that over and we'll come out of the whole landscaping mode. So we've now sort of smoothed it all off over there. It's looking a lot better. And I've also bought a new thing in there. So the first thing I want to do is I want to hop out of that truck. And I want to go and I want to get this one. And I want to cut down another couple of trees. So after that, now we've got these redwood things over here. The problem with these redwoods is that... Um, it does appear that they sometimes don't actually clear away properly on the on the base, um, and I think it's the I think it's the trees rather than anything else. I think they are the cause of the problem. Um, it might just be because we started this map on. Why aren't you working? Oh well, it, it did it did eventually work on there. I bring that down. Uh, watch the last Thief Simulator earlier. An amazing end. I thought that was very good. South Africa. Hey, hello, South Africa. How are you doing? That's Clint V6. Um, hang on. I'm just sort of reading through. Can you get Field 10 in Felsbrunn? Um, I don't know. My next field that I'm planning to get in Felsbrunn is field uh, 17. The, um, it, it's the one that's on for, we, we, you know, we got two fields now. Um, oh, but we we did buy an extra field. Well, it's, it's the one that's a little bit on from there, field 17. That would be the next one that I want to get, but I'm not actually planning to get more land just yet in that one. Um, I kind of want to move on and get the animals next in that one. I think that would kind of like be the next step the, the next like logical progression step in what i want to do there so let me just move this one up here a minute and we'll shut you off so we've we've had some timber we've had some money from the, the trees from just just selling the trees i've cleared a load of trees here i got one tree over there but that one should be all right I'm going to just move this one over. We've got to do another trip now up to the sawmill. This is the only frustrating thing about this map is that we can't sell wood chips up there. I've never been... At... Somebody did say that we could do that. I don't know who said that they could do that, but I've not been able to do it. Um, anyway, let's not worry about that. So I want to come out of there and I want to go back to Animal Pens. Oh, oh, there, there, there we go. Right. Uh, oh, I've only got 33,000. I want 40,000. I want a large chicken coop. I want a large chicken coop. I don't want a small one. Right, in here, because of these great big lumps of granite, I can put a small chicken coop in here, about there. But that's about it. you got all this space here, but because of the big areas that it tries to flatten around the edges, um, it means that it's not going to fit. So deformation of the terrain has failed on there. Well, we kind of expect that a little bit, wouldn't we? We, we would expect that a bit. Um, but what I could do, I suppose, is... Uh, no, no, not left shift. Le left control. There. Down like that. I can drop that in there. Buy for 27,000. 37,000. So I get the small one, and I can already fit the small one into this area here. I'm hoping to get the, the bigger one, though. I, I want to be able to put the bigger one. And I want to put the bigger one in here... As close to this side as possible. And then we'll landscape around that afterwards. So let's just to take a look there. We want to get this one down first and get it sold. So we've got some more wood chips coming up. 
Uh, we got 25,000 a load last time, so that was 50 grand. That's going to give us 80 grand. That's um, probably not going to be enough to do a great deal with, but uh, it's a start. We get 80,000 here. The next the next uh, block of land, though, unfortunately for us, the next block of land is going to cost us $200,000. And that's, that's the, the difficult bit with this is getting the blocks of land. Um, we can try and cut down some more timber, um, but that also took quite a long time to be able to do. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm not really sure what we should go doing. Right, I'm, I'm just going to pause my incessant chattering for a second so that I can take a drink, because um, otherwise my throat is not going to hold out for another 45 minutes. Right, that's better. Uh, what do you call a person? Nobody knows. Ah, oh. <laughs> very good, very good, brilliant. I like it. Um, right. Uh, I'm just just come to Sweden and you can get snow for free. Yeah, I imagine you got plenty of snow in Sweden. Um, actually, I just seen a news story. Was it yesterday? That I think from like Germany eastwards, you guys got like way too much snow going on over there at the moment. You've got you've got some serious issues with snow over there at the moment, as in um, like some serious avalanches and all sorts right across the whole of Eastern Europe. So if anybody's been affected by that, um, I th that was the first I'd heard about it was yesterday, and I'm I'm very sorry for you. Uh, I hope that it does actually work out. Okay for you if if anybody is uh, being badly affected by it. Um, anyone notice that the chicken sign in the map moved when he, we moved the chicken coop? Um, I didn't. I didn't actually notice that, but I do know that it put, comes up when you do um, you put it through two five two six two. So it hasn't actually changed the price yet. Why it hasn't changed the price yet? Why won't you go forward? Go on. Oh, easy, tiger. What are you trying to do there, son? What are you trying to do? Let me switch over there. You, you've got to have the trailer selected to be able to tip. Um, do you know the song International Harvester by Craig Morgan? No, I, Fred, I don't know that one. Um, hang on. Sisters love that. So I'm going to have to go and have a look for this song. My first, my real name is Craig, by the way. My, my first name. Um, it is possible to find out my surname on the internet. I've been told by several people that it's fairly easy to find out my surname on the internet. That being said, I'm still not going to announce it in live streams. That's, that's just not happening. Um, where are we? Try an Irish map on the time lapse. I don't know what's going to happen with the time lapse at the moment. Uh, we're staying where we are for the minute. I don't know how many episodes we will stay in Felsburn. I'm actually really enjoying the Felsburn map. And the ability now to be able to mob the landscape as well as you go through, it's opened up many more possibilities. I definitely i am going to stay here for at least until episode 20 to 25. No plans to be leaving that map uh, before then. Um, after that, I don't, I, I honestly, I'm not sure how long we're going to stay on the map before we move on to somewhere new. By only doing one episode a week, I'm also conscious of the fact that we've basically got round about 100 episodes in FS19. And then it'll be FS21. So we've got around about 100 episodes. If I stick there for 44 episodes, I'm only really going to get two series. Um, or like two series and then a tiny little bit and you know this, this, this is not great so i'm thinking probably around about 25 episodes and then i'll move on but i've at the moment i have absolutely no idea because that's quite a long way down the line i got episode nine prepared for tomorrow that's all done it's ready to go um but we haven't got any further forward than that so we're on episode nine and then we'll we'll, we'll kind of wait and see we'll, we'll see how things pan out and and what it looks like 
So what do I want to do next? I know that the next chunk of land, this field here, is going to cost us an absolute fortune. Um, I also know that I'm now stuck. This wasn't part of the master plan. There we go. We, we've done that nice little kick thing. I'm glad to see that not everything from FS17 has disappeared. <laughs> um, just bring that in through there. And we will go to animal pens. We'll go to a large chicken coop. Now then. This object collides with an object. I want to bring you up. Uh, rotate. So, first of all, we definitely want to have the entrance to this one out this side. So, we want to have it over here somewhere. Like that. Then, I want to... Definitely not. Bring it down there. Right. Can't be placed. Deformation failed. So, now we've got object collide. It collides with an object. What are you colliding with? Don't you tell me that you collide... I know what it's colliding with. You don't own this land. I do own this land. And now you're colliding with an object. Right. Uh, so the first thing... Oh, hang on a minute. No, it's not... It can't be colliding with that one. And it can't be colliding with the tractor. That doesn't make sense. So what we'll do instead is we'll go back to landscaping like this. And... I will take a little look around and we'll see what we've got on here that is colliding with an object. Because it... There. Terrain cannot be modified. That was one of those... Wasn't that the redwood tree? That was where the redwood tree was. Oh, you don't own... Hang on. Um... Oh, of course, it comes down into... Yeah, we, we, we've got that bit on that corn. Right, so we'll, we'll have to remember that we've got that bit there. Landscaping. So I, I, I can't really do very much over there. Well, this here is all alright. That's all good there. Terrain cannot be modified. It's, it's because I don't own the land there. Isn't it? No. No. Terrain cannot be modified here. There's that... It's those redwood trees. These redwood trees are the bane of my existence. Right? They, they don't, you don't seem to be able to um, do anything with that. That is absolutely terrible. Right. Um, live in Iceland. Just me some modern. He's a log arm dolly for that middle. That would be quite good. If, if um, I get a, a longer dolly, that would work very well. Have I ever tried farmers' dynasty or cattle and crops? I've looked at cattle and crops. Um... I haven't actually looked at it for quite a while. The bit that I did go and look at with cattle and crops, I was bitterly disappointed with because it could not get it to work at all. It was, it was, uh, all I had was a grey screen simulator. It was terrible. And I tried everything. I tried contacting them. Um, I tried everything they suggested and nothing worked on it whatsoever. Terrain cannot be modified. Oh, I can't, uh, is, am I just too close to the road there? Might just be too close to the road down there. Yeah. That's all it was. It was too close to the road. So I've got... There's a spot in the middle which might stop me from my dreams of big chicken houses. That might prevent my dreams of big chicken houses. We may be able to fit something in over here. But I don't think we will because the problem with the big chicken house is that it's very, very big. It is extremely big. Um, you go and look back in. The large chicken coop. This is the problem with the large chicken coop is it's very, very large. Shout out to the mods, keeping the channel a pleasant place. Self-promotion. Yep. You, 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 you're welcome to do a bit of uh, self-promotion. I see nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We've got our first chicken coop. He's able to go in here. $81,000, mind. Oops. Right, let's bring that one out. I want to... I definitely want to lower that one down if I can. Right, it won't go down that low. Down as low as I get. 83,710 right there. I only got 79. No! I, it, it, it fits right there. It's the perfect spot. No, don't make... I have to. I have no choice. Right, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to buy those chickens right there. I'm pretty sure... I bought more land. I've increased the value of my holdings. What's wrong with you? What else have I got? I've sold everything else. 
I haven't got, I haven't got anything here. You know what? We're, we're just going to have to go, but we're going to have to do some more work. It's all right. It's all right. We're just going to have to do a little bit more work, and then we can come back to it. Um, you're leased, so you don't count. You don't matter. Let me get you. Fire this bad boy up again. I got 30,000 liters on here. I'll go up there, and I'll fire you up like that. I'll chop you down. Another redwood. I'm starting to dislike these redwood trees, you know. I really am. Right. I'll get rid of that one there. 73,310. So I'll bring that down over this way. Iceland is a beautiful, remarkable country, but you should have more snow. And in Norway, it always rains in some parts. I was looking at Norway just the other day. Um, seriously considering, because what I'd like to do is I'd like to go and do a bit of, um, like, wild camp. Is it just me, or have the wood chips all just disappeared? Pretty sure the wood chips have all just disappeared. No. Apparently the the fill thing is not on. Oh, okay. Says they're in there, but the fill plane is not showing up. That's a very peculiar thing. Can't see the fill plane on it at all. Oh well, never mind. As long as it's there. Um, but yeah, I was. Um, I, I really like wild camp. I really like watching videos about people wild camping. I find it incredibly relaxing watching um, someone just go somewhere into like a bit of forest and you don't have access to slack. Oh, I can't chop that tree down. I'm not allowed that one. Okay, we have to go up the hill and we have to get some more of our own trees, apparently. It's going to be like that. Fine. Um, and. Here in the UK, you can you can't really wild camp unless you own you know the person who owns the land, right? You, you're not allowed to. You can there's very few places in the UK that you can just pitch up a tent. Um, most of them you're definitely not allowed to light a fire on them uh, unless you have com you know permission from the landowner. So uh, I'd either do it via you know a private land and do it like that. Or you, you've got to go somewhere like Scotland. You can go to Scotland and you can pitch up a tent anywhere you like. And you are allowed fires within certain rules and regulations and so on. And so I was sort of having a look around and um, looking at popular places in Europe for wild camping. Apparently Norway is incredibly popular for people that like to do wild camping where you don't take very much, uh, very much with you at all. And you, you just go and pitch up your tent, you take a bit of food and you get all the fuel and you build your shelter and everything when you're there. And there's a large chunk of Norway where such a thing is allowed. And certain times in the summer you're not let you gotta be very careful where you um, build the fire and there are um, and obviously because everything's dry as tinder then they don't want you lighting fires in the middle of the forest. Quite understandable. Um, but yeah it it is it does seem to be like quite a, a good place to go for that sort of thing so I've, I've been looking at Norway lately and it does seem to be quite cool it, it does it, it's um, it does seem to be a very awesome place to go for the kind of camping that I like watching other people do in YouTube videos and the kind of camping that I've been seriously considering doing myself although going to Norway to go camping from here in the UK it's, it is a bit of a long trip it's got to be said but for me, it would be a bit of a long trek, really. Um, so I'm not sure it would be particularly practical at the moment. But maybe one day, maybe one day I will be jetting off to Norway and spending some time over there. Right, you're not actually... Well, I was going to say you're not cutting down properly, but you seem to be cutting. So we'll do that, and then I'll go forward a bit more. I'll cut some more. Maybe that will take the rest of that stump out. Some parts in Wales. Oh, is it? I didn't realise that it was some parts in Wales that you could also just go and um, pitch up tent. I thought it was... Because I know right where I am is a place called um, the Rune Beltram. Yeah, he's on my suggested channels list. He's absolutely brilliant. Um, and I, re I, really do I, I really love watching his videos. They're very relaxing. But also his other videos as well, his blacksmithing stuff. He's really good at that. He knows his stuff with his blacksmithing. There's no denying that. Um, and he's he's like he's very good at it. Um, now, 
I've run out of trees over here. Maybe we do need to go back to that old Ponzi scorpion. We've got a tree over there. We'll run back up over this side and we'll grab a few more of these trees here. But we've got another stand of trees over that side over, over in the corner that maybe we could use over there. Going rather a long way round to get these trees now. Look at this. Um, Rune Malt Burstrom, I think he's called. I think that's his name. He's in Denmark, anyway. Uh, horses are great when they're behind an eight-foot fence miles away from me. <laughs> yeah, um, horses don't like me either. Horses know, right, that they know if you're good with horses. They, they, just, they just have this thing about them that they know. It's like they, 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 you're either part of the club or you're not. And I am not. I am not part of the club. My grandfather, Wesley, um, he used to be part of the club, right? He was like a dog, dogs and horses, yeah? He could, he was like some sort of dog and horse whisperer. He was absolutely amazing. He could do anything with them. The horse, and the horses knew instantly. When, when they met him, they knew that he was, here's someone who means business. That they, they, they didn't mess him around. They, they just instantly knew. It didn't matter what was wrong with the horse. It didn't matter how lively or, you know, disobedient this particular horse was. My grandfather got hold of that horse, and that horse was like putty in its hands. It really was. He it, it, it could do anything with them. And th they, they just knew that they'd never try and fight him. They'd never try and be difficult with him. The horse would just do whatever he wanted, docile as anything. i go anywhere near the horse, and the thing would try to kill me. It really would. No, it teeth would be laid and his ears would go back and my granddad would just chuckle and say I don't think he likes you boy and that would be about it so there we go that was that was the end of my the, thus well my career as a horseman never really started I I I I, I don't know I, I just never really had a thing with horses and I think they just knew so um yeah uh, ho horses was not my thing um not used to them Hang on. Bushcraft Bear, his videos. Uh, I've not seen Bushcraft Bear. There's the Wooded Beardsman, whose videos I've watched from time to time. He can be quite good. Some of his videos I really do enjoy, and some of his, uh, so they're, they're sort of all right. But, I mean, like, that Wooded Beardsman guy is, is some of the things he's um, talked about and he's done. It's, like, really quite amazing. It's stuff that I would never have considered as really cool survival tips and you're like it, i i genuinely feel after watching some of his videos that if something were to happen and civilization would have collapsed i would be able to survive um just because i've watched his videos right that i genuinely feel that enlightened after watching the some of the wooded beardsman's videos that i could do it and uh, rune malt beardstrom uh Ber Berstrom, not beardstrom um his videos he doesn't talk at all he's one of those that um never talks he's just uh, there's no music and uh, whoa easy tiger easy <laughs> that was quite a kickback there um i you, you sort of feel like you, you learned a great deal just by watching what he does in his videos and that is quite a cool thing i think um the fact that they can teach like that without you having to say anything um Uh, it was because when your granddad went up to a horse, he whispered glue in their ear. <laughs> he might have done. <laughs> I honestly don't know. He, did, he never used to talk much to people. I know that much. He, he never, he, he was never one for talking. Not like me. He, I, I, I'm, I'm very good at talking. And I, I can talk continuously for many hours, as some of you have now found out. Um, but, uh, yeah, granddad, he never really talked at all. If Gran was anywhere in the house when the phone rang, he'd never answer the phone, ever. He would never, ever answer the phone. Um, he would only ever answer the phone if he absolutely had to and when there was no one else home. And even then, he wouldn't say a lot, right? You, you always felt it was a bit of a one-sided conversation when you were talking to him on the phone. And it was just very much a, a, a yes or no situation. And But he was never really one for talking anyway. And uh, so... It, it, but it did generally just make you listen to things that he did have to say. So, yeah, I don't think it was a bad thing that he didn't talk very much. 
And we got on very well anyway, because I'm always quite happy to talk. And he was always quite happy to let me. So, yeah, we, we got on very well. Uh, let me just switch that one off there. So we get another 50. We should get another 50 grand for this. And then we can go. And I'm hoping that we can get some of our chickens down at long last. Um, your last FS stream, we talked bushcraft. Did we? Was I talking about it in the last one? It's a subject that I quite like. I, I do enjoy watching um, bushcraft videos. And it's uh, something that I'm... Um, uh, it's just something that I quite enjoy. I don't actually get to go camping myself. And so I, I watch other people go camping instead. But I'm hoping to change that this year. Definitely hoping to change the whole me not going camping. And actually go and do some camping. And I may even film some of it as well and try uploading a few videos onto Frithgar 2.0 for it. Because I haven't put anything on Frithgar 2.0 for ages and I just had that sort of short-lived short -lived experiment with doing some videos with my little shredder that I've got. That, um, yeah, it, it kind of, I don't know. I, it wasn't so much that I was trying to get a big audience for watching the shredding videos. I wasn't really expecting that. It was more uh, see how I got on with like doing some filming and stuff like that. Uh, easy, easy tiger, easy tiger. Um, so yeah, I, I don't really know about that. We, it was um, it, it was kind of experimentation and also to see what I could do with the camera that we've got. And it turns out not a great deal actually. We could do with a better camera, and we will be getting one. Um, hang on. Let me come on round here. Uh, everyone also has that one idiot friend. Oops. Tell if you go behind a horse, it will kick you, and then they go and see if that's true. Um, yeah, people do have that idiot friend. However, they don't. The, the, the horses don't go behind. You, you go behind the horse, they don't kick you. And the horses wouldn't. They, they don't kick me either, unless, unless the horse was really frisky. And the only time I was ever near a frisky horse that would have kicked me if I'd gone behind it, my granddad said to me, don't go anywhere near that one, lad. Um, and, and that was it. He just said, don't go near it. And so I didn't go near it. He went right, He went near it. He, he walked around behind it, and he was picking up its, le its legs and everything. Um, and the, the, the horse just let him. You know, legs got picked up. Horse got looked at. I went sort of near the front end of the horse, and it tried to bite my shoulder. So I stayed away from the, the horse after that, and uh, I had nothing more to do with it. But, um, yeah, see, Grand Grandad could do anything with the horses. He really could. And it was the same with dogs. It didn't matter what the sort of, it didn't matter what sort of dog it was. It, it didn't matter anything about the dog. He could, uh, it, like, the dog would be amazingly well behaved at all times for my granddad. And he knew exactly what was wrong with the dog as well. He knew, like, the situations it was in and what the dog should and shouldn't be doing. It's like, the, the little things, like, if you go and sit on a, um, if you go and sit on a sofa next to a, uh, like, the dog on a sofa, if you go and sit on the sofa next to the dog and that dog sits up and is constantly trying to keep its, eye level above yours and so he really sort of pulls himself up that's actually apparently that's, that's like a, a challenge to your authority the dog is saying i'm in charge you're not and so whenever my granddad went and sat down it, it didn't matter if it was his house or someone else's house if he went and sat down on a sofa and there was a dog on the sofa if the dog stayed down he would just put his hand on the dog and he'd smooth the dog and it would be fine if that dog immediately sat up and tried to put its head above my granddad's head um, in any way trying to be authoritative, my granddad would just grab a dog and pull it straight off the sofa. And that would be it, you know, and, and it, would, it, would be, it would be stern with it as well. It wasn't sort of a soft thing. It was, it, was a hard move. it was a hard movement. It wasn't rough or nasty or mean, but it was a dominant um, movement, a dominant gesture that was basically telling the dog... No, I'm in charge here. There is no two ways about this. I am in charge. And the dog would just sit on the floor then and stare at him absolutely adoringly and go nuts for him whenever he turned up from then on. Just this one simple movement and that was it. 
because he understood, he, he, he immediately understood when a dog was trying to test the boundaries and he would firmly um, state, no, I'm the alpha here, you're not, I'm in charge. And thus, um, it was, it's very strange that dogs will do that and um, like that they respond so well to humans who immediately um, express their dominance. But you've got to do it in the right way. It's definitely got to be done in the right way. Um, right, anyway, we've got all the way back now. I rattled on about nonsense for a while. So let's go in here and we first, we want to rotate this one round. I want this one over here. Um, and there. Oop, back a bit. Now, how f I want to see how far over this way we can go. This is looking promising. Oh, I see. Right. Up there. Actually, this, this is good. This is good. Because, look, up there. Oh, wait a minute. If I, I have got the big chicken pen, haven't I? Please tell me I've got the big... I have. I've got the large chicken coop. I've got to rotate it round again. But, no, I just realised what it's doing is it's actually putting this chicken coop above the piece over here that we had it on. So, I don't want to go there. I want to go back slightly. There. We'll take it this way as much as we can. There. Boom! Look at that! Yes! I wasn't actually expecting to be able to put it down like that. That is fantastic. Right, now it collides with an object because we've got something right there that is going to stop us from being able to place a big chicken pen. So we're not going to be able to put one here. We could put a small chicken pen here. Uh, we can't put it here because we don't own the land, but if we can get the land and we can get that tree out of the way, we may still have hope of getting another chicken pen in here. But next up, what I want to do is I actually want to see if... Like, if I can bring this one over here. Great demand at Central Grain Elevator. Right, well, we'll go and have a look at that in a minute. Um, I'll bring that one there, and then I'm wondering if I... No. If I can raise that one up. Deformation of terrain failed. Right, it doesn't like the deformation of the terrain right there. Maybe we can still get it to do this a bit. Um, I am a bit lower there now. All the way out over here. It's, it's definitely not going to like it all the way back there. That's going to be too close to that rock back there. As we come forward this way, maybe if I can move it away from the chicken pen over there a bit, and so, right, that's as high as it will go over there. Failed. There. We can go right there. Can I take it back a bit? There was definitely a spot there, so we can get our second large chicken, there, there's our second large chicken pen. 45,000. Now, how far this way can I bring it? Keep going. Starting to lift it up a bit now. That's where it's going to get difficult. Wow. There we go. Right, I did not expect to be able to put two of them in there. we got 412 left. Right. Now I want to go, actually I want to go back into here and then we'll go to landscaping. And, right, I think that is a mule that is, the mule is across. Um, and, uh, well, an ass is a donkey, it, it, it's, um, an, an ass is a donkey completely, it's, it's just, just uh, another name for a donkey. Mule is a cross between a donkey and a horse. You've got mule as the father is, I think, a mule. The father is the donkey. Um, and then a jenny, the father is the horse. It's one or the other, I can't remember. that You've got one, one is a jenny and one is a mule. And the it is actually a very specific difference between the two, because one of them, the donkey is the father, and the other one, the horse is the father. At least this is, at, at least as far as I remember. I, I may be completely and totally wrong on that, but as 
far as I know, that is what it is. Right. I want to move this. Let, first of all, we'll take this truck up this way. Because I think we've got enough trees to be able to fill up another load. Have I got enough road up here to be able to get up there, though? That's, that's going to be our next thing. I want to... Hmm. Right. We can get through here. We can get through, but we don't really have much in the way of trees anymore. We've, we've already got... Oh, no. Yes, we do. We've, we've got quite a few trees up through this side. So if I bring this one round and I go like that, we don't have any of the trees on the left-hand side of us. We don't own any of those. So I'll just close that one up a minute. And then we will go back over to you. And we're going to take this one up over there as well. And we're going to cut down what trees we can up in that corner. We, well, we've got 46,000 litres of wood chips on board anyway. So we can go and dump these out. Um, do I know much about ants? Cornish ants. Um, I know a bit about ants. Uh, I know that uh, like the most common garden ant you'll find is the black garden ant, Lassius niger. Um, they, the queen, that's a single queen colony, it will tip the queen on those colonies, will typically live uh, 20 to 25 years, although they have been known in captivity to live up for about 40 years, um, but that is, that is the exception rather than rule. You'd normally expect a colony to last around about 20 years. Um, you've got various different red ants in the UK, those are, uh, roof, I, th I think it's roofers actually, um, but I don't remember the rest of their full scientific name. And you've also got various different breeds of yellow meadow ants. Uh, the yellow ants, I don't actually remember. I think those are sing generally single ant ones. Uh, si si single queen colonies. Whereas the the red ants, um, is, it Rufia, is it Rufus, Rufus, Rufius, Rufus? I, I don't know, something like that. I can't remember. Um, but the, the red ants, they're noted for being multi-queen colonies. It's, it's quite different. That rather than having one single queen in the colony, they will have um, anything up to 100 queens in the colony, depending on the size of the colony. They'll have quite a few. Um, but and I, Ants are social insects. I love social insects. Absolute. Um, oh, there we go. Um, so I absolutely love... Um, social insects. And I always find them um, quite fascinating. I don't know a great deal about the different species and stuff that live here in Cornwall um, or live in the UK in general other than pretty much everything I've just told you. Um, but that's a fairly limited knowledge compared to some people. A good ant channel is one that's in my recommended channels list and that is Ant Canada. He's got... Um, that guy knows his stuff. That guy really knows his stuff. He really does. Um, YouTube channels are hard to grow. Yes. Yes, I absolutely agree. YouTube channels can be tough to grow. Um, just keep doing what you're doing. I got an aunt. She lives in England. <laughs> uh, a hinny, not a Jenny. A hinny. Ah, right. Mule is a donkey dad and a hinny has a donkey mum. The other bit is a horse. Right. I've I thought it was a Jenny. Maybe I'm. I'm sure Jenny is actually a name somewhere. I'm sure, I'm sure Jenny comes into it. I could be completely wrong on this. Come on, this. Yeah, it's, it's it's doing it. A little tiny bit. Look, you can see it doing it. That bit. The saw bit on this doesn't seem to work quite as well as it could, does it? You can get you get in underneath it with the chainsaw bit, uh, but that's that's actually the stump grinder working there. Not the saw itself, but the stump grinder working under the tree. Which you don't always want. So I'll bring that one up and we'll do it like this instead. Oh, come on. There, look. I think it's because it's trying to cut it on an angle. There, look. Now, now we got it. Now we're talking. Now we can get that one in over there and we'll start lowering it back down a bit. Um... No, I honestly, in, uh, wow, you know quite a lot. No, um, when it comes to ants, um, that's like a, a very, very, very basic knowledge. Trust me on this. The world of ants is absolutely mind-boggling. It's, um, it, it really is. 
I've kept, I used to keep ants. I used to have a, um, just a, a small nest of Lassius niger ants, the, the black common garden ant. Um, I used to find them quite fascinating to watch, but uh, eventually Sen could bear it no longer, and we, um, yeah, basically I had to get rid of them. Um, she really, really didn't like having them in the house. So in the end, I finally conceded and I, I, I took them out. I, I put them in the garden. Um, I didn't like doing that. I did not like having to release them. But I do occasionally have people ask me, you know, how do I get rid of ants? That's not something I'm telling you. I'm not telling you how to kill the ants. Leave the ants alone. Let them live. If you've got ants coming into your house, I don't know why people think it's a bad thing to have ants going in your house. If you're worried about them getting your food, put your food into containers, okay? Just just, just put your food into in, in sealed containers. It's actually a good thing, the ants going into the house. Do you know why? Because the ants will go in and they will scavenge. They will clear up all the little crumbs of food everywhere. They'll take everything. They will clean it all out and you won't have any problem whatsoever, right? They, they will all be gone every single little bit of food you're much less likely to get mice coming into your house if you've got ants in there because the ants will clean it up and there'll be nothing left for the mice right so just next time you've got ants in your house just be grateful for them and don't go throwing a load of poison around trying to kill the poor things all they want is to live it's all they ask for it's just the right to live and i you know i i, I realize that uh, i do eat meat so you know there's that side of the argument however i only I, I i never kill an animal for sport i never kill an animal for fun the only time i ever kill an animal is if i intend to turn it into a meal and um, and so yeah I, I don't go and kill ants either I, I don't like the idea of the ants being killed i, I absolutely don't I'm, I'm very anti ant killing um wasps i'm not so keen on letting wasps live mainly because they torment my bees. Uh, I don't actually keep bees anymore, but I used to keep bees, and uh, wasps are the bane of any beekeeper. Um, terrible, terrible creatures they are. Horrible, nasty things. Bees are wonderful. Wasps just seem to exist to torment your bees. And, y y yeah, poor things. But there's no need for it. Although wasps do actually serve a very important part in the ecosystem, they are predators, and they eat a lot of protein. They, they take down a surprising number of insects. So, um, yeah, most of the year, the wasps will generally ignore you. They only become more aggressive towards the end of the year. Uh, you're looking at the end of August, beginning in September. That's when wasps start to become aggressive because of the way they, uh, that they work. Um, right, let me just lower that down. Um, wasp bees, they kind of, they, they shore up supplies and they stay, you know, they get ready for winter. And then they, they will hibernate over the winter. Wasps don't, their nests deteriorate at the end of summer and the new queens will go out. A queen will only last for one season with the wasps. So as the end of the sea, as the end of the summer gets here, um, wasps, their whole nest and their whole, um, society is basically breaking down and it's becoming every wasp for themselves and they're running out of food as well so they're getting understandably you know a little bit crotchety and angry with life in general by the end of the summer and that's why you are far more likely to be stung by a wasp at the end of summer than you are any other time of the year so if you see wasps after um late august early september onwards uh, treat them with a lot more caution. They are far more likely to sting you at that time of year than they are any other time of the year. Um, the, uh, early in the year, they're not interested, right? They're just after a bit of food for their young. Um, and quite frankly, to produce the poison that it takes to sting you is quite a bit of work for a wasp. They're not actually that interested in doing it. They just want to be left alone, carry on with what they're doing. Now, I used to have a willow tree in my garden. I cut it down this summer because it was attracting European hornets as well, which are big horn the biggest hornet you can get in the UK. It's about an inch and a half long. They are really, really big, and they can give a very, very nasty sting. Um, but those, along with regular wasps, I had a willow tree out here absolutely crawling with them because the willow tree was covered in aphids, and the, um, the aphids were... 
you know, aphids produce honeydew. Basically, the aphids eat the sap and then they excrete out uh, the sugars as waste for it. And the wasps go nuts with this sugar. They really do. They love it. Um, and so they'll come along and they will um, just go along and they clean up the aphids. Now, ants do the same. Ants actually farm aphids in order to get honeydew. Uh, so ants have been farming livestock for millions of years now. And we've only just sort of gotten on to this idea in you know, the, the last, I think it's about seven and a half thousand years. So an ants have been farming livestock in the form of aphids for literally thousands, uh, millions of years. Um, which I always find quite fan absolutely fantastic. The fact that the ants have been farming aphids for so long. It's the Lassius niger, the, the, the black common garden ant that does that. Um, and then you've got, hang on, let me bring that one back round there and see if we can get this last, ooh, that one cut properly, look at that. Miracles never cease. There we go. Okay, that's that bit. We haven't got any more because those other trees are in the other field. We're now minus 4,700 because of um, the machinery that we're leasing at the moment. But we're about to go and get another 50 grand and then we've got our chickens all lined up and ready to go. So just let that one swing in round over there. Um, right, we'll, we'll leave that at that. Okay. Um, there was a... So what, what was I talking about? I can't remember now. Um, wasps. Yeah. So we, I had this um, tree and I used to go and sit by this tree about two feet away from it and so that I could get a really close-up view of the wasps and the hornets and I had these massive great big inch and a half long to two inch long European hornets the biggest hornet that you can get in the UK um, huge great big things are big thick nasty looking things and they give an incredibly painful sting I've been told I've never actually been stung by one uh, but they apparently they give an incredibly painful sting. Um, plus, thousands of wasps over this tree as well. There was always probably uh, five to ten of the big hornets on this tree, along with thousands of wasps as well. And I would sit just a couple feet away, and I'd watch them coming in, and they would just be gorging themselves on the, um, the honeydew from the aphids. Absolutely not interested in me in the slightest. And this was early summer. I did decide that it would be in my children's best interests if I chopped the tree down. And got rid of it because as the season wore on, the hornets and the wasps would start to become increasingly more aggressive. And so then there's much more of a chance that they're going to be stung by them. So in the end, I cut the tree down. The only problem with that is you don't really want to do it during the day when the wasps are busy. So I had to wait until the evening because it's summer. So the evening's quite late. And the hornets are... Um, yeah, the, the, the problem with the hornets is that they're very big, so they hold a lot of body heat, so they work quite late. Which meant I wasn't actually able to cut the tree down until gone midnight when I wanted to cut it down. My neighbour looked out of his window at me, and I could see him shaking his head. He must have thought I was a complete and total lunatic out there at midnight cutting a tree down. I wasn't using a chainsaw, I was just using a handsaw, but still, it did, it did make a little bit of no, uh, noise. Um... But, uh, yeah, what was that about the daddy long legs? Um, venom check. See, I always thought this about the daddy long legs. The daddy long legs, not the ones with the, um, not, not the daddy long legs with the, the, the wings. Not, not the, the flying ones. But the, um, the, the little daddy long legs spiders. And the, it's not that they didn't have mouths. It's that they, um, the, the teeth are basically so small that they can't actually pierce human skin. Um, but the poison they carry is it does have incredibly high potency. Um, but I've never fact checked this. I've, I've never gone and looked it up. So um, I will go and look that up. I'm going to look that up as well. Um, Petro Gracemark. I'm, and welcome Petro Gracemark. I don't think I've said hello to you this morning. Well, well morning for you. It's, it's evening for me. Um, I've not actually looked that up. I, I, I haven't actually looked that up. I just realised it's ten o'clock. We've been we we have reached our two hour mark. We've actually reached the two hour mark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unload these right here, 
And then I want to do just one final little polishing bit. You know, we're just going to do a little bit of polishing around the chicken pens that we've gone and bought. Because uh, we've gone and bought those chicken pens. I don't think we've done too bad tonight. I wanted to get some chicken pens down. That was the aim of the live stream tonight. We wanted to look at some of these mods that I got. And I wanted to get chicken pens down. And I feel that we have done really, really well. We've got two chicken pens down. It, one of them in particular is in a place that I didn't think we'd be able to get the thing in anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I do feel that overall we have had a fairly successful stream. I think this is good. And I'm aware that many of you will also be pleased about my plans for future live streams. I'm not going to do one next week. I will take a break next week. But then the following week, starting there, every single Friday evening, I will do a live stream. So just it'll just be Fridays. I won't do the, the two at the weekend um, and at every third weekend and so on. Um, it'll just be every Friday, live stream. So I'm hoping that uh, you, you'll quite like that. Now, let's bring this in and around here. Um, yeah, welcome to the live stream. And... Oh, good night. Thank you again, Mr. Nigel Pipe. Or Nigel. I'm not allowed to call him Nigel Pipe anymore. I have to be less formal. Um, uh, thank you very much for uh, the support and for joining the channel. Becoming an actual uh, member of the channel. That is very, very cool. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, the, the whole Daddy Long Legs thing, I, I'm definitely going to have to go and look that up now. Because um, I was always of the opinion that the Daddy Long Legs Spider, not the, the flying Daddy, not the insect, but the Daddy Long Legs Spider, the one with the really long spindly legs with a tiny, tiny little body, not much bigger than a full stop, was one of the deadliest spiders there is. And I'd always loved being able to tell my kids that. And now you tell me that I've actually got that completely wrong? This, this, is, this is one of those mind-blown type moments. Not really sure what to make of this. I'm, go I'm definitely going to have to go and do some more research. Now, I'll stop right there. I'll switch that one off. And we're going to go here. Start landscaping. And we're going to go back over to this bit. So what I want to do now is... Uh, actually, we'll keep it on this size like this. And we want to... Bring that through like that. There. It is going to cut off the corner, but I'm actually okay with that. I think that's fine. We can smooth that down through there. So it's going to make it look a little bit more natural. We're going to lose some of the grass and stuff, unfortunately. I'm going to just knock that down a little bit smaller there. Um, and I do think it would be better if we I bring that through there. I know I said originally that I wanted to put the cows here. But we're not going to do that. We're going to put the cows elsewhere. Because we'll go for the chickens first. We're going to go for our major chicken farm first. So I'll bring that up sort of like that. And just round off the corner of the field there a bit as well. Bring that through. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to when they do eventually bring out an update to this whole thing. And allow us the luxury of being able to place down bushes and grass and stuff like that so let's just we bring that through there i can always go back through and plow a little bit of this afterwards just go like that there we go right and we want to come over here so we've got a bit here in the middle now this bit uh let's bring that make that smaller so that we can just go in on that side there like that there we go uh, where's the... Right, that's the egg spawn point right there, isn't it? So I'll try and level this off around the edges of that. That's where the food's got to go. So we we got to be able to get through there in order to get the food down. You can bring that up. There. So that sort of marries in between the two there quite tidily. I like that. Um... And then we've also got the front here, which we're going to want to bring out. So I'll bring that up a little bit bigger there. And that'll just blend those in. We, we can knock down that corner. Yeah, I think it's going to work quite nicely. There, we can just bring up the edge of our big boulder there as well. That's going to make that... Give that a more... Wait. 
<gasps> oh! It's gone! Like the whole tree bit has now gone completely. What? Look! That bit hasn't. That bit hasn't over there. But this one has. The whole thing has vanished. That means my rock is no longer sort of really needed. I can't believe it. It lied to, it's, it lied to me this whole time. It's been lying to me. Ah, I can't believe that. Right. That'll do there for now. We won't do any more for a minute. We'll, um... I'll do more stuff in, uh, well, I'll just do it in our next regular episode now, because we've now got this, we've got two large chicken pens that are now ready for chickens. That is ready to roll. So we have pretty much run out of time. Um, I think I'll t I will take these back to the farm. We might still need these. We might still need these down here a little bit more. So, uh, it's false about the daddy long legs. Yeah, I, 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 that's, um, I can't believe that. I, I, I really, I really like, uh, the study of insects. Um, I can't remember what it's called now. This, 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 this horrifies me now that I can't remember what the study of insects is called. Um, in, but in particular is social insects. I'm, I'm particularly interested in social insects. And the... But, the, you know, the, the little spider thing, that, that was al always one that I quite like. Um, but keep up the landscaping, I'm never going to pay the loan back. Yeah, you probably, you got a fair point there. Um, am I going to do a WoW live stream starting a new character? Uh, well, what I was thinking is that if I do... Well, I, I will do more um, WoW live streams. Um, but what I was actually thinking is I'd probably just carry on playing Grondorn um, with the next live stream. Either, either that will go and do something again with Frithgar, but I'm not quite sure what I would do. Because, you know, I, I kind of did do a whole load of messing around with Frith. Um, and, I, and I did want to do something new and something a bit different if I was to do a live stream. But I don't know. At the moment, I, I don't know what. And I don't know how often I would do a live stream with Frithgar either. Right, now this one here, I wasn't going to cut down those small trees, because honestly I didn't know that it was really worth it. But I mean, maybe it is actually worth it. Bring that down a little bit. For now though, we'll take this one and we'll run it over there, because there's some bigger trees over that side that we might be able to harvest back. We've got a bit of that land over that side. Um, okay, I'm... I, I am stopping. I am stop. I'm stopping the the. I'm, I'm just going to move this one over, and then we're wrapping it up. We're, we're saying good goodbye. Um. So, uh. Five a.m. It's five where I live. Have a good rest of your day. It must be five in the evening. I'm guessing. Um. Hello. Right. So yeah. Um. We. I'll, I'll carry this on in my next uh, normal episode where we'll go and have a look at some more stuff that I want to do. We'll have a look at our chickens over there. We need to go and buy... We'll have to buy a load of chickens. That's going to be our first thing. And we need to get crops done for that as well. We're going to have to get... We'll get something planted in this field. And then we'll probably get some wheat going in here. This week, I have got the new Ultra Hardcore series starting back up again on the... Hello, Cerberus. Hello, boy. How are you doing? There you go. Have some food. He's always, he's always happy to have a bit of food. Um, Ultra Hardcore series starting on the Boulder Canyon, I think it's called, map. I think it's Boulder Canyon. Something like that. Um, but it'll be on that map. That's that's where we're going to be going. Uh, so I really hope that you've enjoyed the stream. And I really hope that you like the plans for the channel with the new series that is starting this week. And also the fact that I'm going to be doing live streaming every single friday evening so it'll just be on a friday evening i won't be doing the saturday evening ones because this is the one that's actually a bit more difficult for us to manage uh the friday evening one is a lot easier for us to get to and 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 to sort of do so i have no shadow see look i have no shadow see nothing i'm a vampire i'm actually a vampire i always suspected it you know with my um with my ginger hair and my fair skin and the fact that I burn so easily just looking at sunlight. I always suspected I might be a vampire. My lack of shadow has just proved it. There we go. 
Something new that you never knew about me is that I am a vampire. Um, so yes, that is that is the, the, the general plans. But anyway, um, that is all we've got time for. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Hang on. I was going to say goodbye. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, I missed that. I missed something there. Anyway, yep, this is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.